This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. All right, so we got the game. He's yeah at risk of losing his house right now. I haven't heard WAC 100 really speak on that, but he was served, um, you know, supposedly as these shell companies that holds games assets, and that's why Miss Rainey here can't get her $7 million judgment. She, but she is getting his music royalties. Then we got... Uh, damn. Hold on one sec. Let me put in some new stuff because we already talked about that. There, there, uh, There's some developments also with the BG and Turk thing. And it's actually really sad that that these two were going through this and I don't think it's fair of BG to hold Turk to anything because they're all they're all kind of crazy they all have their uh, quarrels within family and then they get over it so Jade Chiefs okay let's get to her first people were saying she went too crazy with her BBL and it's falling off the bone that is that's crazy bro to say something like that falling off the bone she's you know she is um she's good looking girl and you know she's tied to her baby daddy for life she's never going to be single she's always going to have her baby you know little baby he's always going to be involved she's always going to be single that's just that's just a fact i saw her recently talking about that and it's like well you're always going to be single like that because no guy's going to like be like you know that's the prop Ugh. i don't want to like it gets complicated and it gets complicated for a woman too so say a woman's dating a guy and she's single with no kids dating a guy with kids the baby mom's always going to be involved right and then it goes the same for the guys dating a woman with kids i want to be fair you know it's the same situation you know so it's almost like sometimes when a woman has children it's almost best to get with a guy with ch kids you know, like, I don't know. It, I don't have any kids. And neither does just my uh, girl. You know, so it's like... You know, I don't know. I've dated a woman with kids before, and it does get difficult. It gets difficult. You know, they start saying, oh, you know, then it's a big thing to meet the kids, and then the baby father. You know, it's just, it's crazy. You know, it's like, there's a lot more levels to it. Also... Uh, Jasmine Chiefs, her sister, is date, well, has a baby with 600 Breezy. She hates him. She's been putting him on blast. That he's like a deadbeat dad and all that. Who knows what's going on? That's that, that's that drama. Baby father, baby mama drama. Who knows who's right? I don't like to pick sides on those things because, you know, it gets sticky. <laughs> it gets sticky. Okay, we got Safari. He's speaking of that. He's getting blasted by uh, Erica Mena for being a deadbeat dad. You know, he should stop doing interviews about his baby mom and Nikki and everything. If that's all people care about with you, bro, I don't know. Nobody cares about your music, and maybe you should focus more on that. Because when you do, when people do love and hip hop, and the music doesn't catch. You know, it might not be for you, man. You know, I don't know. Like, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say it like that. If the music doesn't catch, it ain't going to work. You know, like Cardi B was lucky. It just worked, you know, but I'm saying stop, bro. <laughs> just Safari is just corny, bro. Um, then we got uh, WAC 100 speaking on the Keefe D situation. And he's talking about what the hell? He's talking about um, he trying to bail KPD out to do some business, right? And I'm like, okay. And but you know what? Right? Why? You know, like this guy is accused of killing Tupac. You know what I mean? Like, why? <laughs> it makes no sense. You know? It makes no sense at all. Um. Also, with, with, with WAC 100, what doesn't make sense is, like, why does he always get involved in such stuff where, you know, Nipsey, 
he takes these hard narratives on things, you know? And the Nipsey thing was weird because the game was so upset about Nipsey passing. We all were, but you know, he was like painting his car, Nipsey post a day until the death of me, da da da, you know. He hasn't, st he stopped doing Nipsey posts, I'll tell you that much. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a weird situation. To be honest, Whack 100 is always involved in weird stuff. I don't understand why he wants to bail out Tupac's alleged killer. Drake fans and uh, Kendrick fans keep going at it, man. Um, it's just, it's... Kendrick, everyone that came out for that Kendrick concert deserves a Kendrick feature. That's all I can say. They deserves a Kendrick feature because... Uh, yeah, uh, it, it, it's crazy, man. You know, it's like you guys put all this on the line. YG, you ain't getting no Drake feature anymore. You know, and I know, I know Drake kind of violated by putting him in the song, but it's like, uh, you know, what's? I'm just saying, it's just, it's just a little weird. Uh, Kendrick definitely owes YG, Roddy Rich, and all of them a, a new feature. While 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 the iron's hot, or put them on the album, because I'm gonna be honest, they they kept it solid for West Coast, you know, and that's not enough. Yeah, this is business, man. This ain't just you know, this is the music business. This ain't music friendships, you know. And Drake just can't win. They're playing not like us at the the USA uh, beating Canada or something, you know. The, what is it? The Olympics trials or something. And it's like they put not, you know, LeBron's over there vibing out to it. It's like, dude, Drake got no friends, dude. None. And then Designer talks about that incident where he started, like, touching himself on a plane. And he says, yo, I was, I was, I'm a vegan and my blood sugar was low. You blame it on that? Bro, you were on something else, bro. Your, your blood sugar wasn't just low. And then lastly, we got Turk. Hey, man, BG's done just... The same as Turk. He's dissed Wayne, done this, dissed Birdman and all that. But why is Turk being held to these high standards that, you know, oh, you spoke against me and now it's F you forever. It's like, dude, that's that's unfair because, you know, Turk, BG, Wayne, they've all, you know, Birdman, uh, they've all said things about each other. And, you know, most of them are able to make up, even Juvenile, you know, they're all able to make up and do the reunion. But why, why is, why is Turk excluded? You know, I know Turk gets emotional and he talks and stuff, but that's just how they should know that. They've known Turk forever, right? So it's like, and it's different with them. They actually all made it together you, you should let it's not cool I, I i don't i you know i know i've had my differences with turk in the past but i'm gonna tell you i i don't agree with how they're uh treating him at all that's not it's not fair you know you gotta be fair and bg you said a lot of things about cash money and wayne in the past and they're able to look the other way on that why can't you give Turk another chance to try to work it out for just the moment at least you know you don't have to be best friends and going to each other's house and hanging out but do it for for the history you guys have it's just not cool so I'm more on BG I'm, I'm sorry I'm more on Turk's side about this it's kind of it's just dirty what they're doing like cutting them out from the the essence festival and all that stuff and saying oh bg won't be missed it's just, uh, that's kind of that's rough anyways jordan tau with jt news make sure you smash that like button smash that subscribe. i'm sorry this this was kind of it felt like a dull news podcast i'm sorry nothing's really exciting in this one but we'll, we'll, the day's the day's just beginning peace